I'm going to have you make one change to this piece you just made in the last video. Go back to your sheet metal defaults, and where it says material, I forgot to have you change this to uh, steel galvanized, galvanized steel. Uh, go ahead and click apply with that, and then let's go on with the next tutorial. So the next one is that instead of just making the bottom, we're also going to make the side here. So we're going to make the two side pieces in this video. Let's go again to new, sheet metal part, and the same thing we did last time, sheet metal defaults. We want to change the thickness from rule from 0.12 to 0 0.0239, and we want to change material to galvanized steel again. Click apply, exit out, new 2D sketch, and this time we're going to pick this back face here, because it's one of the side pieces, so we want it oriented the right way. Uh, if you look at your drawing this is actually going to be 6.5 wide and a total of 5 inches tall so let's finish your sketch and we're going to face this uh, default thickness since we set it is now okay this is going to be the sheet that you start off with now let's act like you're going to mark this off with your permanent marker and start to cut this so with lines, uh, I'm just going to draw a couple of corners that are cut out here. And we're going to take advantage of our geometric constraints, like the horizontal constraint here. Pick the bottoms of the lines. We want these always to be on the same level. Uh, we want the distance between the top two to be one inch. So let's change that. And now this looks a little funny. So again, using geometric constraints, we're going to make them equal. So if these two are equal, that's going to make this right in the center, which is exactly what we want. Now, we, we're not actually going to use this right now, but we are going to use offset to grab these lines and just move them out a little bit. And the little bit is going to be a half inch. So from there to there is 0 0.5. Okay, let's trim off this extra stuff. And again, anytime when we're making a cut or something with Inventor, we want it to be clear what part we're moving. So let's close off this shape. So we have the top two triangles that we're going to get rid of. Finish your sketch. Cut. Click, click. Say OK right click again in here let's make a new sketch and same thing we did to start with we're gonna make our two lines again uh, we're gonna make a horizontal constraint between the bottom of these lines we're gonna dimension between the top two and call it one inch and we're gonna say that these two lines are equal and that centers it back up Let's finish our sketch and now when we go to fold I say this is the fold line that looks a little funny so let me change how it's folding that looks much better it's going to come up and over and the angle is 180 degrees okay now I don't want to go back and draw this again so we're going to cheat a little bit if you right click on sketch 3 you can say visibility so now I'm showing the lines on this are visible again fold Click this other line. It's set to 180 from the last one. And now we have uh, the folded side. Right click on sketch 3. Let's uncheck the visibility so it looks much nicer. And now save this part. And again, I didn't make the project folder. But make sure this is going into your toolbox for sheet metal. And we'll call this. Uh, side.